sarcophagus thing that she was lying in um, was just kind of not on set, was kind of just offset, like near the toilet. And um, I just I kept like walking by, and it's just like this little gold, like mummified creature that looks like a human but lying there dead. It was really weird. I just sort of keep, kept like walking past it and being like, oh, it's not, it's fine, it's fine. So um, yeah, that freaked me out quite a lot. So it's it was sort of a weird thing. I did a film called Blade Two, Wesley Snipes, Danny John James, and then um, Ron Perlman. So we're doing an autopsy on this vampire, and everybody sees these sort of um, these um, uh, those ultraviolet lights all around the autopsy that are set by the lighting crew. Now, obviously, these aren't real ultraviolet lights because that would be very very stupid. And it would be like being on a sunbed all day. They're just coloured like ultraviolet lights. So after about four hours filming, and the crew and the cast are kind of going, the headache. We find out seven hours later that these lights are real ultraviolet lights. <laughs> <laughs> the film is shut down for four days. There's legalities. Oh man, you kidding me? Thank God the ginger white boy <laughs> was only there for about an hour because I was like, oh, I, I was like, I say something in the scene, blah, blah, and I leave. So they shot me out, but all the other actors, Ron Perlman, they were there all day. And then uh, I went to see Ron the next day and he was just like, I was like, someone really fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no shit, look at you, you look like my grandmother, you know? <laughs> so basically, that was, uh, uh, yeah, that was like, oh, oh, someone dropped the ball there, buddy. Yeah, that was pretty odd. I think in the screen, seeing my own um, uh, severed head drop to the floor with worms coming out of the eye, <laughs> that took some beating. Has everyone had lunch yet? <laughs> um, Billy? Yeah, I've, I've seen um, a sort of uh, a dead version of myself in Penny Dreadful, and they did a cast of it of me, and then I was like laying next to it all day, and it was it was traumatic. <laughs> Excellent question, thank you very much indeed. Unfortunately, we only have time for one more question. I'm afraid. Oh, and then we do have to let the uh, guys go back to their tables. So, last question. No pressure. Okay, um, name any question, please. Uh, my name's Cody, and my question is for all of you is, if in real life you could have a conversation with the Doctor, maybe that only lasted about five minutes, what would the topic be about? Okay. I have to put right away, is there an answer to this? Where are you from, man? Yeah. <laughs> no, not you, not you, but not you, I'm doing Scottish for this. I love your jacket. No, I was going to ask the Doctor that, you know? Yeah. Where are you from, man? Just like that. Just the end of it. It's history. Uh, no. Gosh, um, oh, thank you. Um, gosh, five minutes. I don't, five minutes isn't very long, is it? Um, oh, I don't know. What have you seen? I would last longer than five minutes. <laughs> That's a bit of a cop out. Sorry. Yeah. Say, what do you dream about? That's all. Back to the exercise. Do you want to, do you want to go there, though? But it might be, the answer might be like nothing. It might be one of those people who never dreams. Because oh, yeah, yeah. he's exercising everything all day long. He's just out. He's just out. He's just out. I'd probably say, you may be a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic stuff. We need to continue talking to these guys all day. The ladies and gentlemen, you can be clear, Hazia. Well done to him, Hazia! Thank you very much indeed. We're going to let these guys head back down to the table.